Hello. And good morning. Oh, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, evening. All right, let's get started. So, so once again, welcome to every V6 community call. It's uh, 25th of May, 2023, and this is our antitrust policy notice. All right, and I think we can just hop straight into it. Um, uh, so a quick update on the mentorship program uh, for people tuning into this. Um, we are uh, the application um, application period has concluded, and uh, yeah, we are now selecting the the mentees. Um, it's gonna, we still have time till the end of this month. I think the deadline is still 30th. And then, then for the next couple of days after that, from, uh, from 31st May to 5th June, there's like a notification period and like uh, acceptance from the, from the side of the mentees. So uh, that's what ahead of us. Um, but moving on to our usual um, uh, usual stuff, um, we have lots of <laughs> lots of big list of PRs finished this week. Um, so let's let's go through it uh, very quickly. So first of all, uh, Swapter's uh, contribution to update. Uh, to update some dependencies, that was probably easy, e easier than uh, than expected. As no no code modification has to be done, but nevertheless, it's good to have this in. Um, then next up, we had uh, a ledger response parser. Um, ledger response parser. I'm actually wrong here because I said it's a individual specific. Specific. It's not. It can work with uh, any ledger client implementation. So that was this PR. Um, it's an in-memory cache um, with some like timeouts and some capacity. It's pretty simple, but uh, uh, I think it, this could work pretty well, uh, perhaps um, in like server scenarios, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if... Uh, how you how useful will be this for mobile wallets? I guess there will be value, but I imagine that the mobile wallets would probably prefer to use like um, wallet-based cache. So when a person turns off the device, the cache will be still there the next time, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a modular, so there's a there's a cache uh, trait. So it's easy to implement uh, other other implementations. We might do that in the future to add uh, the wallet one. Um, okay, and next up, um, we removed some functions uh, from related to endorsing. It uh, just kind of needs to be uh, it, it, as we came to a conclusion, it needs uh, some rethinking and needs to be approached in a more robust way. Uh, so we just got uh, rid of some legacy, essential legacy stuff we are not currently using and we are not aware of any users of these things. So uh, this was deleted. Um, but there was other um, PRs related to endorsing. So on the other hand, there was this PR which enables uh, endorsing using in the VDR ledger. Um, 
running through this. I think I put this caching twice. Oh, I was uh, apparently talking about something else. I opened a parser before and I was talking about caching, but I'm not sure we didn't actually cover this already previous week. So this was parsing. This was this was parsed into last week, maybe maybe in Thursday, Friday. So this was parsing of the responses. Um, there wasn't much validation before as to what is coming back from the ledger. And in this PR, essentially, we, we pulled out a data model from VDR tools as if we found it useful. Uh, actually, it's a useful component of the VDR tools and uh, used it to validate the responses coming from um from from the ledger when using in the vdr and then as i was talking basically before having wrong tab opened we have implemented also the the in-memory response cacher so uh that's that Uh, okay, next up, we had some refactoring about uh, typing prover data structures. Uh, ah, yeah, and this is this is yet uh, pending review, but I saw it was running CI and uh, that it's uh, about to be ready. So I put it on the list already. Um, so yeah this is this is adding um, a whole bunch of typing for i don't know which functions actually uh, i guess the, the ones for construction of the of the presentation is that is that correct yeah yeah retrieval of credentials that are appropriate for a proof request and then um the presentation of them right yeah 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 so we'll have to take a look at this but uh it's it's really great to see this type and also the comments uh this is gonna be way easier to to deal with for sure really nice job with the with the comments and uh putting this together uh okay and then we have a whole bunch of reviews pending uh so starting the issue Cred XPR as uh, a, a important piece we are awaiting and looking forward to. So I guess this is ready, uh, and I see that George already left some review, but uh, I'll 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 leave some leave, leave the mic for for uh, Bogdan to comment on this. Yeah, not much to say. I'm uh, going through George's review right now. Um, Overall, it's pretty much done. Now, this sort of replicates what LibVDR Tools was doing, um, at least like functionally. And I guess that's mainly for two reasons. One would be um, to make it easier to like um, swap between them. Um, and maybe it's going to make the migration easier in the future. Um, everything seems to be running. Um, George is making some, some good points. So um, we'll see um, exactly how that goes. But I don't expect much work to be needed here anymore. I was, I was thinking, uh, and I'm not sure if it's a, a right thing to do to put it in to this PR, but nevertheless, it would be nice if we have a way to opt into this, like basically this modular profile from the VCX. So then we could also maybe run to. Isn't the, there the, isn't there the, the modular libs? Uh, so when you run libvcx or like Node.js wrapper, it's gonna use the in the libraries, I believe, right now, unless you changed it. Okay, I, so, I don't think I did now. Right, so so it would be maybe nice if there's a way to you know opt into one or the other, uh, and so then we can also run the CI you know in in the credx slash in the VDR mode with no JS tests as well. Um, I mean. 
I guess it could be done. I don't know exactly how worth it it is. Um, this is just some work to kind of finish this and this thing is going to go through a heavy refactor nonetheless. So like as we're moving forward, um, I guess there's no reason to discuss the, the plan anymore. We've been talking about it for weeks, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Mm. Well, it will be useful for migration of Node.js applications because you want to try if the credix works for it, you know, or like libvcx. I am. Okay. I, I personally wouldn't do it in this PR. Um, if it's anything like the first time I was working on the modular stuff, um, it's not as straightforward as just letting uh, libvcx point at the modular libs feature. Um, mm. There's still some indie-like or VDR tools dependencies in libvcx that won't make it a straightforward migration. Mm. Um, maybe another PR. Right. Yeah, mind. I wasn't sure about uh, if it's appropriate to put it in here. It could be another PR. It might be more work than, than I, I, I think. Yeah, I agree. I don't know exactly what to expect, but um, mm. and I don't really expect issues in terms of because it's it's no longer a matter of uh, just having bits and bits and pieces, right? The, it's the full implementation right now, especially with the uh, ledger work that Mira has been doing. Um, essentially, the um, the modular libs implementation uses the credx ledger and the credx uh, anon creds implementations so only the wallet is still in the like in, it's still live vdr tools mm -hmm. um and as tests are passing i, I don't really think there are going to be issues at least i hope they there weren't there aren't going to be issues well, it just, um, it just, I mean, in, in terms of the interoperable, inter there'll have to be some like migration, right? And then you. Well, the migration of the data is a completely different point. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. So um, that, that's kind of what I had in mind. Like maybe that's um, more important to do first and then consider the Node.js wrapper. Mm. Because then you can actually have a, a better overview of what's going on like you would have stuff um you know created through the vdr tools you would migrate it and then you want to see if the stuff is still working but on yeah. the credits then yeah, yeah yeah okay then so it'll be next steps that's good that's good we can uh, I'll, I'll review this i'll continue with my review i only did like partial partial ones throughout the life cycle but uh, I had to finish the the rest of the code, and I was also uh, pushes. Uh, I think the last review I did was a couple of days ago. So yeah, it's uh, it's, uh, it's looking really good, um, Bogdan. Uh, I I didn't realize that the whole modular libs profile is feature complete after this PR. I thought there was still ledger stuff left, but Mira's already done it. So that's mm. that's awesome. Yeah, it's it's moving yeah. up. Very nicely that right now. Okay, uh, so then continuing in our view. So this is uh, pretty much all in uh, like relates to the ledger. Wait, maybe not this one. Prover handler types. Oh yeah, that was okay. That was I I duplicated this again. Uh, okay. So no, no, never mind. So then these four. Uh, well, and the first one is also you know, the ledger. That's a wallet typing. Uh, that is also a contribution from TechBash. Uh, so props to TechBash for completing this. Uh, seems like almost done. Uh, almost done. I just uh, missing approval yet. But the CI passing, that's good. Yeah, I was wondering if one of you two wanted to have a look at it as well. Um, it's it's relatively straightforward, but yeah, I'll uh, have a look. Cool, thanks. I'll look for sure. 
and uh, yeah, and the, the three, then the, the three last um, atoms here, one on top of each other, and they're pen, like uh, they they need uh, your guys' review. So I already went through them pretty much. Uh, the first one, maybe just to give you like uh, 50,000 feet overview. So the first one is uh, doing the split of the base ledger to like four different trades. And apparently this this was like less code mod modifications than I thought. Like. I, I don't think there are four different trades, are they? So, sorry? There are four different trades. Yeah, yeah, there, there are four different trades now. Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, basically Alan Creds read, Alan Creds write that, that relates to like reading and writing those Alan Creds primitives and then just in this specific stuff separated out. So basically this is the kind of trade which we would then, especially the read one, we can imagine, you could imagine we would implement it for like other ledgers, other Alan Creds methods like Cardano, Hedera, or web, among threads web, and whatnot. And uh, we could uh, resolve those among threads primitives from, from any data store. And uh, I'm not sure if we'll be, we'll see uh, if we ever do this implementation for other ledgers. I'm not sure. Uh, right now we have implementation on, on well, everything is only implemented for Indy, but uh, it's uh, really nice that these two are now generalized um yeah and is then there, mm -hmm. oh sorry is, is there many methods left in the indie ledger read and write uh, yeah not not really uh we can actually open up the trade file it looks very nice very uh gives very good overview of what's going on and what's the like structure behind these things or is it base ledger i guess and maybe I can view view file. Okay, yeah, nim tas. Yeah, so there's a. Oh uh, yeah, it's small. This is a really, really just those like in the specifics, so reading attributes, reading the ID, transaction agreement, set endorser. I think this was fixed. Uh, this was somehow taken out or adjusted in the subsequent PRs. This is not really read, but I think that was fixed. Um, and getting transaction by like sequence number. In the in this specific write, it's writing the name, aka writing the ID or stuff like that. Writing writing attribute. And then uh, the anoncrits is pretty straightforward. Three delta. Uh, I guess uh, these things will need some thinking because uh, the, this this kind of interface from to I I think that's uh, in this in this specific right now. So I, I already discussed with Mira about this a while yeah. ago. We yeah I, I don't remember if I uh, launched the idea in one of these calls, but. Here, it would be really easy to get away with an associated type so that you have an associated type on the trade that takes some options and the options can be anything. So mm. then, Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we mentioned last week, actually. Yeah, so this way we can handle pretty much all scenarios. Mm, that's good, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is, this is it. Um, and then the other two PRs for Mira, they continue on top of this one. So then... In the next PR, uh, there's a split. This is like in terms of implementation in particular. So that, ah, yeah. So both implementation in the VDR ledger and in the SDK ledger, they both are divided into two separate like uh, structs, basically. And they both, both of these structs have different requirements what they need to function. So, so in order to, co to read from the ledger, uh, as as um, as it's described here, in order to read from the ledger, you don't really need request signer, or or on the other hand, for writer, you don't need uh, cashier or response parser. So it's kind of like the minimal uh, minimal uh, like function signature, minimal requirements principle applied here on these constructors now. 
uh, you need to construct two things instead of one, but uh, yeah, that kind of gives you better granularity options. And yeah, and then on top of that, uh, there's further improvement uh, in terms of getting rid of uh, global state. Previously in Aries VCX core crate, there was uh, uh, this a, a piece of global state uh, in a like lazy static structure, um, which was storing transaction of the agreement used and, and this this global state was read whenever you try to write transaction on the ledger and now uh, uh, through those this modification mirror did here uh we got rid of it and uh, the what was previously global state is now like local basically to the to the writer structure and uh yeah so this it's always get good it's always nice to get rid of these globals never never leads to pretty places so yeah these three prs needs a uh, review i i went through them uh, i only had some comments on the last one i believe that um, mera has already addressed them and this is green so just have a look and we can get this thing merged these things hey um what what order should these be Review pretty much that. they're pretty much sequential so uh you know six two is based on six one six three is based okay. on six two okay great and what about um the issue at credx i imagine there's some uh, conflicts between no i i i guess that would be pretty much uh um like separate and large largely independent although i suppose there might be a conflict if we merge one or the other first but uh I don't expect some significant conflict. So I guess just whatever comes first comes first. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, uh, I guess in terms of upcoming work, I have a bunch of things to merge the credx and this ledger stuff. So those will be the priorities. Finish our in on a, on the side of the mentors. We need to pick out the pick out our 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 uh, mentees from all of the candidates, uh, and then um, and then yeah, I guess just continue get, driving all these things to completion, the the critics and the, the ledger stuff, and uh, also also the I I think I mentioned last week I want to work on the. The ID resolver integration, I didn't really have time to progress uh, much on that front. So if anyone would actually want to pick that up, uh, it's like free to feel free to go ahead. Just let me know because uh, I don't have much stuff down there. And yeah, we are breaking down. Uh, breaking down the interfaces in RSV6, RSV6 core into smaller pieces. The ledger is pretty much done. The end on creds, I guess we can start splitting now, splitting it out once the maybe the credx is done and we get rid of the we get rid of the VDR tools components. And then um, yeah also after so once these two things are kind of complete we can start of think we can start thinking of the wallet, but I guess that's still a, a bit further. And then of course the type state pattern. Um once we once we do the once we do the holder and issuer, we can start writing those those tests. I think the priorities are pretty pretty clear now. Any uh, any comments guys from our a vision and things lying ahead. Mm, nothing from my side. Just uh, brace yourselves for all the work coming. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's it, it looks good. Um when does a non creds RS come into play? Is it the second part of that core breakdown? Yeah. Essentially yeah, I think essentially they'll come. Um, this is gonna come in play when 
We drop most of the LiveVDR tools. We do the migration from, well, LiveVDR tools to uh, Critics. And once we see that's working, essentially Critics is going to be dropped and replaced by Anon Credits RS. At least that was my understanding. Cool. Yeah, I, I think so. And and I suppose this like split out into interface. This that's actually like pretty. Um... I I don't think there's anything for holder. I think in Anon Credits. Um, I mean. That's technically because a holder does nothing with them. Uh, you just receive them, and I think that's mm -hmm. pretty much it. It's a matter of just proof, or at least I haven't seen anything like holder specific um, in in any implementation. All right. Yeah. So I guess it's more of a prover function than. Yeah, because yeah. ultimately you're the same agent, right? So. Yeah. I mean, there's there's methods like um, getting credential info from the wallet, um, things like that. It, that's more of a holder piece of functionality. Mm. Which is... Okay. Um, but I, in my opinion, holder and prover are pretty much the same thing. So it could be grouped together anyway. Yeah, I guess that's that's pretty much what I mean. Like they are supposed to be the same agent because being independent entities would make no sense. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I understand. Cool. Well, all right. Uh it was a kind of quick one today, it seems like. Unless there's any any other final uh, thoughts. Ideas, comments. Um, Bogdan, I was wondering, were you looking at the Akapai implementation of the issuer stuff when you were working on Credex? Not that much, no. Um, I, I think I mentioned in one of the comments on, on the PR that I kind of aimed more for like VDR tools backwards compatibility in a way, like just kind of replicate what VDR tools was doing. I know it does a lot of bad stuff. Like even this credit issue implementation is not necessarily my proudest work, but um, the goal was just to get this um, out of the way. And like, I don't know, for me, the target is the Anon Creds RS implementation on which I will work a lot on. Optimi optimizing stuff and whatnot. But I agree there's some really weird decisions that were made in terms of VDR tools, like storing that schema ID um, when it basically can be pulled from the credential definition itself. There are some, some quirks. Um, but kind of replicating that, I think, will make it easier in terms of that migration, which we kind of plan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, um, I've had your file open next to Akapai's and the flow is pretty much the same. So validating yours is, uh, relatively easy. Um, so it's good that we're similar to existing things. Um, right. Okay, then, um, seems like uh, there's no more points of discussion, so we can close it off. And uh, thanks for thanks for joining in. Have a good week. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.